All right, I wanted to do an update on the project and this time I'm going to focus less on the UI and more on the robot itself. Um, so what I'm going to do is boot up the software that's on the Raspberry Pi on that box over there. And now that it's connected, and you can see that by default it closed the gripper there. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I am going to home this robot. Now what I've done here is I actually added a special homing sequence that will home uh, all of the joints except for uh, the fifth joint because otherwise the gripper would crash into itself. Um, so as you can see, it's not currently homing the fifth joint. Uh, but then when it goes to center, it's going to start homing that fifth joint now that it has room to do it. So that's a special homing sequence. I call it the split home because it splits the home into two segments. Um, so now that I have uh, the robot in the center position, I'm going to go ahead and run these waypoints. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get this cup out of the way uh, so that it doesn't bump it on the way over. I'm going to go ahead and start executing these waypoints. I'm going to put the cup in its position here. The gripper is going to open and it's going to run this simulation. Uh, now what you can see here is from previous videos that I've posted, um, the robot seems a little bit more fluid now. And that's because I've added acceleration and deceleration. Um, so before it just kind of went and like hit a wall, basically. Uh, but now you can see it gracefully gets up to speed, um, gracefully decelerates down from speed. There's a perfect example of it. So the cup's no longer getting thrashed around like it used to. And now I can go ahead and hit and send that to center. And there you have it.